Hello, this is Andy Ford with Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to talk about the sine expression. As you can see on the screen, it's written with a capital M, dot S-I-N, and then parentheses. An input will go into the parentheses. The sine of that number will be the output. For math gurus, the input is thought of as a radian or a way to measure angles. The output's going to be a value between negative one and one, and this gives a smoother, more predictable outcome than, say, the wiggle expression. But enough about math. Let's get into showing you an example. Here I have a graphic from Envato Elements. It is parented to a null. This is to keep the graphic in the middle for this demonstration. First, we'll alt-click or option-click on the stopwatch for position to create an expression. Now I'll start out by typing in the basics of the expression. When it comes to an expression for a position, you tend to need an x and y value. So in this example, we'll just keep the x value as it is. We'll have the y value be our sine function, and the output will be x and y. Before we add values for the input of the sine, let's create some variables. We can make a variable for frequency, which will affect the speed of the movement, and we can set that value to anything, but you can also set it to time, and a variable for amplitude, which in this case for the y value will affect the height of the movement. And we'll start off small at just 10. Inside the parentheses, we can add our frequency variable, and outside the parentheses, we can multiply by our amplitude variable. And now we see very subtle movement because our values are low. The more we augment the argument value that's in the parentheses, the more we'll see a change to the frequency. The more we augment the amplitude value, the greater the high and low points of this bounce. Now you can actually speed up or decay the speed by multiplying or dividing by time. So for example, we can do time times time, and that will give us a speed ramp up. So the more time that goes on, the faster that speed will be. So the sine expression is a great way to get smooth, predictable, and constant movement. Enjoy.